The loop stitches work between two lines. Um, if you are right-handed, we're going to be working right to left. If you are left-handed, we're going to be you would be working left to right. We're going to bring the thread up between the two lines. Then we're going to move over because I'm right-handed slightly to the left. I'm going to go down in the top line, come up on the bottom line, and pull that up. We're going to take the needle under that stitch from right to left. And we want to come out with the thread above your working thread, or with the needle above your working thread. We're going to pull it up. And again, we're going to go down on the top line, up on the bottom line, and I'm going to the left going to pull that up and I find it easier to bring my needle under while this is still a little bit of a loop. So I'm going to go under that stitch, make sure my needle's on top of my working thread here and pull it up and we're just going to keep going like that. Top to bottom help if I had hooped this differently. And that time I pulled it up so I'm just sliding my needle under from right to left, that stitch I made. I'm going to bring it out, make sure I'm above the working thread. So I'm making a little loop in the center every time and you can nudge those loops around too. So down in the top, up on the bottom line. I'm going to pull it up and we want to go from left, right to left under that stitch. Make sure the needle is over the working thread where it's coming out of the fabric. Pull it up. And you just keep going that way. Top to bottom, under the, that loop or the stitch, if you pull it all the way down, it's that last stitch. Come out with a needle on top of the thread that's coming out of the fabric. And pull it up. You don't have to keep the stitches exactly the same width. And you could taper this. And you wouldn't absolutely have to keep your loops in the center either. You could have them going off center or your little knots. But you can nudge them a little bit. So when you have gone as far as you want to, you're still going to finish off here. And then to finish it, you will just tack it down again in the center. So the only time the needle is piercing the fabric between the two lines is at, is at the beginning and at the end. So it kind of gives it a little spine, little knots there in the middle. I'm using the stitch here on the poinsettia to add detail to my petals. Um, I am using a variegated thread in this case and only one strand of floss, so it's a really fine one. So, as you can see, I didn't obviously didn't keep my two lines parallel. I'm just working off both sides of the petals.